Why am I so awkward? <laughs> I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking up, now I'm thinking up. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to face one of my biggest fashion fears, midi skirts. <laughs> So midi skirts look so cute on some people, but every time I wear one, I feel like a grandmother. I don't know. I just really think that they're not flattering or not cute, but I also haven't worn one for like over five years. Actually, I don't think I've ever owned one in my closet. So I'm definitely like a mini skirt kind of gal. So I thought that today I would make myself one and see if I can make it cute on me. And if I can't, I might make it into a dress or something, but I thought that it, it was time to face my fears today, so. So this is the fabric I'm planning on using, and it's really lightweight and has a really cute floral pattern. It just makes me a little nervous because it is kind of bright, and I don't know what kind of tops I have that'll pair with it, but it's honestly the best fabric I have in my box right now for a mini skirt. So, I'm pretty nervous. I'm pretty nervous in all honesty. But I thought I would make it into a tutorial because it shouldn't be very hard and I hope that you guys can follow along too and maybe we'll be in this journey together. <laughs> so if you don't own mini skirts, maybe maybe it's time for you to try it too. Let's, let's face our fears together. I'm nervous. And knowing me, I probably have about a yard and a half of this fabric, but a really easy way to check actually and like one of my favorite tricks is it's about a yard of fabric is about the length it takes from the tip of your fingers to your nose. So. One yard, I have about two yards. So I probably won't end up using all of it, but that's how much I'm starting with. So let's get started, woo! So the first thing I did is I started with a sketch because I wasn't totally sure what I wanted to do. And so the first one I did had a little bit more flair to it, but I decided to go with this panel design because I thought it was a lot more flattering and that way it would be easier to add the slit to. But here's both of the designs that I sketched. So then I took my fabric and then I folded it in half and then I measured and cut out all my pieces. And here are all the pieces and their measurements. So this is the front part with the two side panels and the side panels are mirror images of each other. And then for the back skirt panel, this is what it looked like. And both the top and the bottom of the skirt are slightly curved. And then I also made a waistband and to do so I just folded over a piece of fabric, put the back piece on and cut around it, and then cut three and a half inches all the way around. And I cut two out of my regular fabric, and also cut two out of an interfacing fabric, and I used an adhesive one. So it just goes on with an iron, and it gives you a more sturdy waistband. So then I took my front center panel, and my two side front panels, pinned the sides together and sewed those. But on the right side, I sewed only halfway down so that we can do the slit. And so it should look like this. So the next part, I'm just finishing the edge for the slit. And so I did a basic hem all the way around the side that we left open for the slit. And it's kind of hard to explain, but Basically, I just did a hem around it, and then for the top, I just tried to make it as square as possible so that it would lay flat. And then I took the back piece, put the front piece on, and sewed the side seams, but I didn't sew all the way up on the left side so that we could insert a zipper. So leave it to where you can take it on and off. And then I ironed my interfacing pieces to the back of my waistband pieces to give the fabric more structure. And so to do this, you basically just iron it in place for 10 seconds and then move to another section and it adheres to the fabric. You do this on the back sides. So then I sewed one of the side seams together to get a nice strip of fabric. And then I took the skirt and pinned the side seams together and stitched the waistband to the top of the skirt. 
And then I folded the fabric towards the waistband part of the skirt and did a top stitch right along the edge. And this just makes it lay flatter. And then you could do a basic hem around the other side of the waistband if you want to finish it off, but I just use a serger and then stitched it down. This technique I used is called stitch in the ditch. And so basically I just folded down the waistband and stitched right in the seams so that the waistband would lay flat when we're wearing it and did not fold up. And then I sewed it there on the side seams and in the panel seams, just down to meet the waistband. And here's a closer up so you can kind of understand what I'm doing better because explaining things is really hard guys, I'm doing my best. <laughs> and after you stitch that, it is time to try it on. Okay, so here is the first look at the skirt, and I'm actually loving it like way more than I even thought that I would. It's actually really cute, what the heck? I'm so excited. And here's our cute slit that I feel like, I feel like the slit helps it look a lot less grandma. It's actually so cute, I'm so excited. Woo! So I was actually high key vibing with this skirt, so I kept it as a skirt and did not turn it into a dress. So the next thing I'm doing is inserting a zipper, and so I used an invisible zipper, and I'll kind of show you guys how to do that in a minute, but if you don't know how to use invisible zipper, you can use a regular zipper, you'll just see it on the side seam, which isn't a huge deal. So basically you just fold your fabric in and stitch it to the side seams of the zipper, and it would basically look like this. I just pinned it in place to give you guys kind of a reference of how to do that. But if you want to use an invisible zipper, you want to iron that seam out, and so your zipper will kind of fold in like this. And I marked it with a pen so you can kind of see where you want to stitch, but basically you're stitching right next to where the zipper is without hitting the zipper. And then I also marked the top edge of the zipper because it, it's kind of hard to reference where it actually ends sometimes. And so I'll mess it up all the time, but I always do that. It's super helpful. And so I took the line where I wanted the top edge to be, and then I tried it on to see how much I needed to take in on the side seams to make it fit my waist. And then I just pinned one side of the zipper to my fabric and stitched that all the way down. And I know that there are invisible zipper foots, but I've never really felt the need to use one. I don't know. For me, invisible zippers are pretty easy, but I know that for some people they're really intimidating. So I do recommend trying them out though, because they might not be as bad as you think that they are. And they look so good when they're done well. <laughs> And so after you zip it up, it should look like this and you shouldn't be able to see any of the zipper when you pull it. And then I pinned the other side so that it matched up with the other side of the zipper and stitched that down. And then it should look like this. So it's pretty seamless. I was very happy with it. And then the only thing left to do is to fix those little raw edges of the zipper. So to do those, I just folded them down and did a few stitches on the back so that you wouldn't see it. And then that's how my zipper looks. I was pretty happy with it. I just think it makes the skirt look super professional and I just, I always love a good invisible zipper. They just make me happy. And then I just went ahead and did a very simple hem on the bottom of the skirt where I wanted the finished length to be. And then after that, you have a finished midi skirt. Woo! So now it's time to model it and have fun putting together a new fancy outfit with your new clothing item, which is very exciting for me. I love clothing. And so here is the finished look. I was pleasantly surprised with this midi skirt. I actually love it way more than I ever thought that I could. And I found out today that I can actually make them cute. So it's always fun to like add those new clothing items to your closet. And so I just paired this outfit with this really cute blouse that I made a few weeks ago and there's also a video on it if you want to check it out. And these really cute white sneakers and I thought this was like a good mix of like snazzy but casual. Because the blouse is a little bit more dressy but the sneakers still tone it down so you can wear it like any time of the day. And yeah so everything was like all fine and dandy and then this huge shadow crossed over me and I look up and there's two giant turkey vultures circling my chickens to my left who are my children who are my babies. And so yeah, I was very concerned and everything was fine, but here's this fun clip of me watching them. So back to our regularly scheduled modeling. <laughs> And then I'm also wearing just some really simple jewelry and some pearl earrings, a cute little dainty necklace, and my bossy bracelet. 
All right, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun making this video and I was pleasantly surprised. If you like my video, please subscribe or like my video. And I am trying to post a new video every Friday. So if you want to follow me and check out my future videos, that'd be super cool of you. And I think that's all I wanted to say. So bye, thank you for watching.